Hello, my name is Garx32, and welcome back to our FTB Interaction Series. Last episode, we went ahead and finally got some nanoprocessors, so that was pretty exciting. I have been kind of looking around the quest book. We have a bunch of different random things here, like, okay, wood pulp, gas turbine. Um, I believe it's implying that you get to methane, and then you can burn the methane if you want, but man, I would have to, like... Well, that stuff we can dump in some storage drawers, but this stuff is just a bit difficult to store at the moment. Um, I could always throw it in more of those, but they're quite big, so not sure about that yet, but it definitely is an option. Yeah, gas turbine at some point. We're not going to have this powering the base for eternity, but... I mean, it's doing a great job at the moment. Um, it's almost completely fully automated. I just need to switch the drawers when that gets low. But other than that, it's, yeah, it's like fully automated. So there is that. And then I have a whole bunch of like, other one for mineral. Yeah, there's the methane. Okay, meringue. We got a bunch of torches. Don't. I don't know if I'm going to use these torches. I hate having multiple <laughs> different types of torches. Because uh, it clogs up my inventory. But, uh, yeah, there's also the... This. Actually, Ender Fluid Conduits is pretty cool. I'll take those. Um, that. No, I thought that was maybe empty, but that's just the, the thing. Uh... Yeah, you can add this. I was kind of looking, and a lot of these don't even have... <laughs> not even collection quests, which is a bit funny. But uh, we can add the crystallized canola seeds to oil. So you have one bucket of oil, you add a seed to it, and you actually get five buckets of crystallized oil. That's something I didn't know. And you could also add one liquid starlight and an infinity dust, and you get empowered. So that's how you get empowered. And then again... Add another seed to the crystallize and you get empowered. And we can actually distill this stuff down. Probably be I don't know. Like, do we need sulfuric naphtha and sulfuric gas? I don't know. The diesel's great. I'd probably just turn it all into diesel. You actually get more diesel out of it, as you can see that. And uh, diesel is actually light fuel and heavy fuel mixed. So that could be kind of a cool, cool process to set up. We would have to get an infinity dust farm. Liquid starlight is not an issue because we have the egg for that. So lots of different options here I'm looking. Um, the only thing is that uh, I don't, my power is okay for the moment. So I'm not really pushing to upgrade my power gen. So that's just something I was just kind of looking at. And there is lots of different things we can uh, get into, but I think I will probably do diesel at some point it's just a fun quest chain and then i think you can is it satane boosted yeah satane boosted diesel is even better so if you look at that satane i think is like the best isn't it oh well, maybe not look at that the quadriatic fuel okay that's different i haven't seen that before and look how long that lasts that is awesome a very, very slow burn time is pretty cool. You get 22,000 EU out of one millibucket. Whereas this one, this is attained boosted. It's only 1,400. Um, so you really, you're getting 720 out of one millibucket. So that's kind of cool. I'll have to take a look at this. Use nitro. Oh, there's even more after attained boosted is not the highest one. I didn't know that. That's cool. All right, so there's lots and lots of cool things in this. Uh, lots of magic integration. I am absolutely loving how they have integrated magic into a lot of this stuff. That is really, really cool. That's probably my favorite part in the pack, actually. Like this, producing this, and then um, uh, using life essence and mana to up the quadruple and stuff. So... Yeah, really, really loving that part of the pack. Probably my favorite part of the pack so far. But, uh, all right, I need to figure out what I want to do. And um, I'm looking at titanium. Um, I do want to get a new... 
I did look into getting another smelter, an upgraded smelter. Um, but we need Canthal for that. Fortunately, Canthal is going to acquire a blast furnace. Or not a blast furnace, a vacuum freezer. Well, we are at the point where we can actually craft up the vacuum freezer. Requires HV. But it does require just a little this atomic alloy. Ah, all right. Nope, just kidding. Can't do that yet. <laughs> yeah, we need to get Teflon. Teflon is that. That is something. That is a question that we will have to get into. All right, so I'm just trying to think because titanium is kind of like the next step. But also with titanium, we do need a vacuum freezer. All right. So I was kind of, uh, I don't really want to do another chemistry plastic today. I've done a, two of them in the past couple episodes. Uh, yeah, so let me let me figure out what I want to do. And uh, yeah, I forgot to use the cup of coffee when I, when I ate. <laughs> Let's move this stuff so I don't forget. Also, very meringue nest. Yes, please. Love that. Here, back. Um, First thing I'm going to do, I think, is actually craft up a macerator. Finally get the tier 3 universal macerator. One, it is faster, and two, we actually get byproducts. Because I think we're going to have to do titanium, but there's no point to do titanium yet because we need the vacuum freezer. So I think vacuum freezer is probably the next thing we're going to have to do. Um, and this requires a bunch of these frost proof machine casings, which uh, require a lot of aluminum. So I want to, I need to process all that bauxite. Uh, but I would like the byproducts from it. So, let's see, we have over here and a bunch over here. And do I need to get this all set up in a row. It's actually a pretty fun build, uh, the ore processing, but it's all spread out right now. Especially now it's three different tiers, because uh, we're going to put that in there. And we have a chance of gallium. It's only 14% at LV, um, but since this is HV, we should have a, what, plus 17 about a 30% chance, but uh, yeah, there we go. There is our gallium. So, perfect. Um, I just wanted to get that built because, like I said, I'm going to process a whole bunch of this bauxite for all the aluminum that we're going to need. Aluminium, aluminum. Say it. Centrifuge of pyrite. You can throw that in there. There it is. I was... Where was it? I don't remember where it was. Yeah, and then that will obviously go in the electrolyzer. Um, I should just void all this stuff. Probably, do I have a pump anywhere? Don't have. Maybe I'll make a little pump with a garbage can because for the most part, we. Uh, no, I don't need a pump. What am I talking about? Do a garbage can. Do you have a fluid one anywhere? I don't remember. I feel like we do, and I just don't remember where I put it. So I guess we'll have to use. Have to use that bucket. I'll make some more. I think that's it, isn't it? Isn't that the fluid? What's the fluid garbage can again? Fluid trash can. Ah, I had it wrong. Three stone, five cobble, not five stone, three cobble. So there. Alright, and then I'll just throw that on the back, because, as we know, I don't need any of these fluids. We have tons of nitrogen, tons of oxygen, don't need that. There you go. Avoid it, and we'll get the stuff from that. Alright, so just wanted to show that, but uh, yeah, we'll come back. Okay, there are the pumps. It does look like, I'm, I think I'm just going to have to go ahead and get a poly tetra... Yeah, I'm going to have to get Teflon, I guess. I didn't really want to do another chemistry kind of episode, but I kind of have to, to be honest, because 
like I said, titanium, vacuum freezer, it's all kind of next. So I am going to have to go ahead and do that. Now, again, um, I was looking through chemistry, the HV. This flow chart is really, really cool. So if you can take a look at those, because they definitely help just seeing it visualized. They're like really well done. Uh, like I said, I don't screen capture for my recording, so I can't. I can't show the uh, the flow chart but anyway uh yeah so it's actually pretty easy now we're gonna have to ironically i'm gonna need some methane so i'm gonna have to do this and get some more methane because wait wasn't that no compressor and then that's right that's right the mineral crystals is what again um maybe i will set up like a, a setup like this and then basically just you know we'll store the items and something and i don't know i haven't thought about that but yet but uh yeah to get the uh, methane and maybe like a little like one tank of mineral resin or something like that i don't know how much we're going to be using this um Man, I wish we could like shift click those. Well, I mean, that's pretty quick to <laughs> do it that way. I'm sure there's easier ways to do it, but uh, all right. So basically, uh, the Teflon that we're going to need, let me, that is actually, it's do that, not the poly version. Poly just means it's got oxygen added. Uh, chloroform and hydrofluoric acid. Well, hydrofluoric acid's quite easy. Fluorine, hydrogen. There we go. We got hydrogen right there. So we just need some fluorine. Now, there is a couple ways to do it. The easiest way is to get a fluorine chicken, which I will probably do. Nothing difficult. We need some biotite, smart chicken, infinity reagent. I think now, like, all this stuff is actually pretty easy. Even like this, not, I don't have a mixer yet. All right, I'm gonna have to get a mixer for that. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, like, I'm starting to get a whole bunch of H needing HV machines. So that is why I want to get nano circuits so much easier. But, uh, all right, I'm not gonna do that right now, but yeah, smart chicken, infinity reagents, and, this so i mean glass pane brass and rare earth i mean that's redstone with some unstable mana i mean that's like super easy i do have some rare earth somewhere i think i think i did get rare earth in a processing chain somewhere i think i did it so i got it i don't remember where anyway um that is, we'll get that. I'm probably not going to do that while recording because we've done these chickens in a mixer and I'll just get it up to 10, 10, 10. So yeah, nothing difficult there. Pyotite, uh, we're going to get from granite. Now, I don't know. There's probably an easy way to get granite. Maybe is the, uh, what's the thing from thermal? Igneous extruder. I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, igneous extruder. And then there's probably like the augment for it. I think there's a bunch of augments not. Are a bunch of augments gone? Hmm, okay. I thought there was one for the igneous extruder that would let you uh, not use the, the lava or something like that. Or the water. I can't remember. But anyway, granite in a pulverizer will get us black granite, I believe. Yep, so there's our black granite, and we get five, we get one. Silicon dioxide is actually pretty helpful because I can actually smelt it for, if I had some carbon, I can actually smelt it for silicon. Um, but yeah, I just kind of need a bunch of biotite. I guess we need 22, which would be, what, 100, and I'll probably, let's just do two stacks. We'll do two stacks of granite. That should be enough for that all right so that will be the hydrogen and the fluorine 
I th we really only need. Ooh, that's only 500. I thought that was more. All right, so we're gonna need a bit more than I was thinking. Um, these require that's one each. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. We're a bit. All right. So I'm gonna have to get a bit more of that. But uh, the other one is just chlorine and methane. Well, we got chlorine, and now we're getting methane. So yeah, just kind of once you break it down, the uh, once you break down like the He's crazy like this looks so intimidating but once you start breaking it down you're like oh well that's that's really easy to get and that's really easy to get so chloroform is really easy to get and we even get hydrochloric acid as a byproduct yeah, and then hydrofluoric acid well that's just fluorine and hydrogen so yeah it's actually quite easy to get so let me continue doing this it's more methane and i'll get Fluorine that we need. I may even do the chicken right now. Should I just do the chicken? I don't know. Yeah, let me think about that and we'll come back. Okay, I've gone ahead and decided I think I'm actually going to get the fluorine chicken after all. The mixer was pretty easy uh, to craft up. It's just one. Oh my goodness. There we go. It's just one motor. So yeah, wasn't wasn't difficult at all. So we'll just plop that advanced motor down let me just double check i did craft a hv1 don't need any explosions and the reason i decided i'm going to do this is because i was looking at this and i was like oh and then there's gel tooling and i was like oh we don't have that and then all of a sudden i noticed there's another recipe up here that does not require those uh simple power catalysts so we'll do that graphite to obsidian medium covalence and liquid nightmares well we have tons and tons of liquid nightmares and um i just came over here for something and i don't remember why why did i come over here came over oh this yeah let's see. i walked over there and completely forgot why i walked over there all right so there's those three that goes in there we can actually pull that out and just put it back So that will be the infinity reagent. I feel like that may be a quest. No? All right, maybe not. All right, uh, rare earth in the autoclave. And I've just done that so I can take it out again. I think I got it from here, didn't I? Kind of a weird number in there though, but, and that only took five. Just for this. It only took five millibuckets. All right. Well, there we go. There is our rare earth. And then with that, I can craft that. Now I need, oh, please tell me I have these. I haven't, don't remember. Where did I put them? I moved them over here, didn't I? Bigness. Oh, look at that. Only one air. Um, I feel like I should, can you plant this and then have it grow? I don't even remember. I probably should do that though. All right, but there is the morphic resonator. No idea what that does. But there we go. There is that. There's that. There's that. I got this 16 of that. And then we just need a smart chicken. We'll actually need two. chicken and then we just need the one chlorine which i don't have yet i totally forgot about the one bucket of fluorine needed whoops totally forgot to get that um i got this biotite to get enough for the rest and there we go there is our chlorine just avoid that. I'm going to turn that off just in case. I'll leave that stuff in there. Well, pull it out. Throw the aluminum over there. So, yeah, as you can see, I mean, I just have this stuff running. It's not very fast, but, you know, I'm doing other stuff. And there we go. I have almost, I have a stack and a quarter of aluminum, you know. Just threw it in there. So, I don't. 
I don't feel the need to have to get more electrical blast furnaces. Maybe we will at some point, but right now I, I'm just, as I'm doing other things, it just crops up. All right, um, we are taxing our <laughs> our power a little bit though. Uh, we have this running. I do have this, this is throttled, so I could turn it. Yeah, we're not producing quite as much. If I turn it all the way up, um, that will fill those up faster. But like I said, um, once this is off, and uh, it'll just fill it back up again. But uh, all right, where is that? There we go. That is our chicken. I believe there was a quest for this. I thought that would have maybe, maybe I missed it. Yeah, there's a flooring. See, oh. <laughs> well, technically, uh, I mean, it doesn't, we didn't need a flooring. I could have just checked that and got the biotite to do that. I don't know. Those quests are a bit funny. If I hadn't studied it, I wouldn't have seen that that was there. All right, all right, so there we go. That one opens up this. But then this one requires argon, and this one requires no... So I don't know. <laughs> also, I haven't gotten these quests. I'm just clogging up my inventory. Probably shouldn't be doing this, because I, um, I don't like clogging up my inventory when I'm recording. I get distracted. All right, but there is our fluorine chicken. Let me let me get it to. Do we need to get a ten, ten, ten? You know, we probably don't, but I'm going to anyway. Do I have any? I think I have seed somewhere. So, all right, ten, ten, ten chicken, and uh, we'll come back with the. We'll craft up the. The tetra, the Teflon. I think we need what two buckets of methane i think we're good All right there is that now i hear your skeletons and i'm assuming they're probably underneath maybe i don't know but i can hear i can hear skeletons or maybe there's a cave underneath i don't know about but uh all right i just threw the fluorine chickens here because i'll probably do another i don't know yeah, another thing, although this is kind of getting in the way, I might have to pull it out a bit. Uh, but we'll put it there, and then I'm going to do the same thing. Um, centrifuge, I believe it's centrifuge. Yeah, we'll just centrifuge, and then we'll get tiny piles of calcium dust. Yeah. Eventually, we'll have this all fully automated. Like, I'll be sending all the tiny piles with a set amount kind of thing. I think there's or dictionary. Is there or dictionary? Yeah, we can kind of do it. Doesn't look like there is. No, unfortunately there is no, what's that extra, is it extra cells or whatever that adds the or dictionary? We could maybe do it with that. Um, I don't know, I'll do. Yeah, we can actually do it with these. It's just a little bit more Difficult than just with the or dictionary from AE. But, uh, all right, so there we go. We got our flooring chickens, and then I guess. Sure, why not? I'll throw my, oh, what? Oh, this needs an MV. All right, so that's. That's a bit awkward. I don't have an MV centrifuge. Well, I'm not going to do an MV. I'll obviously just do the HV. Hmm, all right, so that's a bit more awkward because, one, it needs four circuits. All right, well, there we go. There's our four circuits. Not that they're difficult to make. I have epoxy. I have 17 epoxy boards, so we're good for a while. Um, problem is I don't have HV power over there, but all right, not the end of the world. The end of the world. Uh, what is kind of annoying is these motors require eight copper each. We use a lot of copper, but again, we can octuple our ore, and we're actually getting pretty close to being able to uh, do that even more. Maybe that's something to look into. And, oh, by the way, remember last episode, I was like, why did I need HV circuits? It's for the plasma arc furnace. I needed EV circuits for that. That's what it was. I couldn't remember what it was for, but it was the plasma arc furnace so we can octuple our ore but uh yeah pyrothium that shouldn't be a problem anymore i should have 
Yep, I was running this. I have three of those, so I think I have three stacks of yeah, <laughs> three stacks of blaze. So that's good. Yeah, I've been kind of preparing to do that. But anyway, that's jumping ahead. So let me craft up. Let me get this. And um, still pretty good on stainless steel, but I am kind of going through it. We had two stacks at one point. But uh, yeah, that is uh. We've needed this for another recipe, I can't remember. But I mean, this is actually pretty easy. I have everything for it except for six. Actually, I think I can. I think I have everything here. No, I don't have the motors. <laughs> I'm actually pretty quick. I've done these so many times that I know them. Pretty fast. I would like to get a faster lathe as well, because that's actually pretty slow, as we can see. Oh, it's done anyway. Technically, the polarizer is pretty quick. All right, is that that and then that? All right. I guess we'll just do these. So, those that. There's that. That all right, and that should be everything for the centrifuge. Yep, there we go. All right. So, um, signalum is inventory. I'm just finally getting used to having the backpack on me. Double check that is HV. It is. Don't need anything going floating or anything. And there we go. There is our flooring that we're going to need. We do need quite a bit of that. I, Like I said, I would like this in a tank. And we will get there at some point. Hopefully in the not too distant future. Um, I'm not going to mess with that those tanks until I can get... Quantum tanks, I think that is what I'm going to do with that. All right, uh, we'll do that. That's the hydrofluoric acid. Let me get some methane. All right, at least we got a couple different things going today. We're not just chemistry. I've gotten, where did that flooring? Oh, oh that's right. Um, I put that in there because if you have it in your inventory, it gives you all these things. So I do have one flooring in there. I kind of forgot about that. I don't remember where I got it, but I got it from somewhere. All right, so this chloroform, that hydrofluoric acid is one to one. That's easy enough. Um, I guess two. Is that what we need? Do two of that. So I'll do two flooring. Chloroform is one to six. I guess, well, I have three. Now let's just do two for now and then I'll get it figured out. So I need 12 chlorine. And we are completing quests. I do like how that is pretty quick. All right, so I think I think that is most of it. Doesn't damage you, but it just makes it very, very slow to walk. So this fluorine. There we go. There's our hydrofluoric acid that we need. And then two methane. Twelve that. And then what did we need? We needed a circuit of one. Didn't, wasn't there a quest? There was totally a quest that rewarded us something. There we go. Is that right? A one? Yes, one. Go. All right. Hydrochloric acid. Definitely need a tank for that as well. All right. There is that. Chloroform. Hydrofluoric acid. That enough. I may need more hydrofluoric acid. 
I actually don't know. Yes, that's not going to be enough, is it? I need... What did I need? I needed something. We need... Three. Oh, that might... Actually, that's going to be enough. That's actually just going to be enough, I think. All right. Um. So, how are we going to do this? Uh, take that out. Booted. I guess we'll take out... Leans in there. Yes. Put that in there. No. All right. So issue. And we are just getting all the quests. There we go. So that in there. I need oxygen. Three. Sure. Why not? And then what was it? A one? I don't remember. Uh, uh, probably touch flooring. No, just a zero. And hopefully, I'm not crazy. I think that'll give us enough for three. With the bonus we get. Yes, that's actually three right there, isn't it? With a weird random 68 left over. <laughs> All right. So, do I have an empty thing? I do. All right. That will go in there. And that will go in there. All right. So, we can actually get the atomic alloys, reinforced alloy, enriched alloy. All right. So, two redstone soldering and a graphite. Let me get the rest of this stuff done, and uh, we'll get at least get the main thing crafted up here. We do need to get some of this aluminum going. I don't know how many we're going to need. 18, and then... Yeah, let me get everything ready for this, and then let's craft up a... Craft up the vacuum freezer. I think we got everything. Cable. What goes in the middle? Yeah, frost boost. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, I think I got everything, although I may have a bit of an issue. I haven't looked. 1700. I think I can do that. Yeah, I can. All right. I thought maybe it would require higher tier coils, so that's good. Um, I needed one thing of chrome, but I think I got everything to get these. So let's do this. I tried to clear out my inventory a little bit. Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> I guess we could just do it in this one. It doesn't need to be in the... Actually, it does. Yeah. I need to get way better organized here. Oh, there we go. It took me, what, 29 minutes to say I need to get way better organized? All right, there. Forgot to get Sorting Alley, but there it is. Nice. All right. So there's that. Did that one time. I don't have any. Do I have any? I have. The only batteries I have are in here. But. Oh, look. See? All full again. So. I'll just leave that back down there. If we run into a problem, I'll fix it. All right. So there. And then that gets mixed with those. And that I need rubber for. I'm just going to borrow one of that, and I'll just put it back. Um, we're definitely going to need to get this automated. I'm assuming we're probably going to need a lot of these. Maybe? Actually, I don't know. Use Discover and Warp to Planet. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, Warps. Okay, well, that's cool. But... Uh, I don't know. I have no idea how much we're gonna we're gonna need of these. Um, anyway, um, I, I think that was all. And then Polly there. Chrome. Are we done? Yes. I need to get a foil. 
Also, I don't know if you don't know, Chrome it's got from Ruby Dust. That's how I got it. I think I you may have seen me pull it out of the electrolyzer, but that's how we got it. And four. I'm getting pretty pretty fast at remembering circuit numbers and everything, but uh some of the the chemistry I I don't. Right. The last but not least is this one. Let's we're definitely gonna borrow a a battery to speed this one up. And these are these batteries are pretty big, although that is draining pretty dang quick. <laughs> but oh well, there we go. Alright, so there is the three atomic alloys. Um unfortunately we do not have enough time to actually craft the multi-block up. And even then, we don't really have anything to put in the multi-block yet um, because we haven't gotten any of the, the ingots uh, like titanium. Titanium is usually the first hot ingot. Yes, it would be. Um, so we haven't got that. And uh, maybe we can look into upgrading our, our coils as well. So... Canthal coil block, we need canthal, and canthal is another one of the very basic ones. It's just aluminum, chrome, and iron. I don't have a lot of chrome, um, but uh, yeah, maybe that's something to look into. I definitely want to get canthal um, because that is required for the alloy smelter. The HV one that I want to get, and the reason for that is the I want to get conductive iron which needs an MV at least. I could do an MV, but I don't want to do any more MV machines. So I'm just waiting to get the HV and uh, conductive. I will be able to finally get some conduits so I could um, power up, you know, more than one machine with the, <laughs> the CEF or whatever. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.